Hey guys, it's Christmas morning. Sunday, I guess? And, uh, yeah. I'm just sleeping in. I don't really have any Christmas plans, which is kind of good for me. Feeling kind of tired and just want to take it easy, anyways. So, yeah. Did check in on Rainbow. He's doing alright. Cleaned up all of his, uh, his cat box. You know, cats. And they're cat shit. But, uh,. Yeah, I don't know. Looking pretty nice and sunny outside. Like, yeah. Nice. Sunny. Wanted to see if Rainbow wanted to come out for a bit. And I guess not. It is still pretty cold out there. So, yeah. You guys know how Rainbow is at this point. Hanging out by the water heater. Made sure he had some fresh water. And uh, I haven't changed it or like given him more food in this food bowl. We still got plenty of food over here. It's kind of neat to see how much food he eats. But yeah. So, uh, mostly play some video games today. Trying out Signalis, which is like a horror game. Very inspired by Resident Evil 2. Or, you know, the early Resident Evil games. I've heard good things about it, however I kind of didn't really like it or feel anything when I was playing the game. You know, I'm sure it's fine or whatever, but it's just too similar to other things for me to feel like I'm getting anything out of this. Like it's got neat art though, but a lot of the game is just walking through hallways and not really much happens. I think uh, ultimately what broke it for me though is there's like a water bouncing puzzle thing. The three jugs puzzle. This is like a pretty classic puzzle apparently from uh, 1484. It's like older than... It's fucking old guys. It's like a 600 year old puzzle. So I don't know. I was just like, if this is the kind of shit waiting for me ahead of the game, it's like, why even bother playing the rest of this? So, I kind of just stopped after this and got a refund on Steam. And I mean, honestly, I, I should have checked first, but this is also on Game Pass. And uh, it being on Game Pass is what really made me be like, oh, well, I'm just going to refund this, because I wasn't really having that good of a time. And... Come on, guys, it's a three jugs puzzle again. Like, guys, I don't know. Making puzzles is hard, but, like, it would be better just to not have the puzzle than to just reuse fucking 600-year-old puzzle. Which is kind of a shame, because I've been looking for new games to play now that I beat Grounded and Pentiment. Kind of like, what else is out there, you know? So I'm trying... Hard Space Ship Breaker. Another game that I've heard good things about. You know, it is very much late stage capitalism simulator. And, um, you know, for most of the game, you are just like zapping a weak spot in a ship. And then you like break a panel free from the ship, right? And then you put it in the collecting spots. And, uh, that seems to be most of the game. I mean, it probably gets more complicated, but, but I played for like an hour and this was pretty much it. Hanging out in zero gravity. So that kind of got to be like, that was just too much work. It was like, this is just like real work and I want to play a video game. So I tried some Dark and Darker, which is an early access game or like they're doing a play test. The guy in this video is really good, but I was like ass at this game and just died <laughs> right away every time. This, I don't know. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm gameless right now. What's the new hot game that's gonna suck me in, you know? Any suggestion, guys? <laughs>